What's up mountain bikers? Today I have four mini bike pumps I want to share with you today. Uh, I'm on the search to re uh, replace my existing bike pump. So I've been trying these four out. Um, and these are bike pumps that I carry with me all the time uh, in my backpack when I go on rides. Um, so yeah, I'm going to share with each one with you, talk a little bit about each bike pump, uh, go over a little bit about the efficiency. Um, and the way I've been measuring the efficiency is I will pump each bike pump 15 times and see how much PSI I've gained uh, on the bike. Um, and you know, it's not a super scientific exact efficiency test, but it gives you a little bit of ballpark of how well each uh, pump pumps. Uh, I try to start each bike pump on the exact same PSI just to give it a fair game. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll start it, we'll get right into it. The first bike pump I have is the Toe Peak Mini Morph. This one sells on Amazon for $32.95. Um, it weighs 156 grams. Um, and I weigh all of these on the same scale. Um, so just, you know, so they're the same test. Um, and then the efficiency for this one was uh, two PSI gain for 15 pumps on uh, the tire. Um, overall, the, the quality of this bike pump is pretty good. Uh, it's all metal construction here in the middle, um, and then there's plastic ends on the side. Um, they're pretty good quality plastic. I wouldn't say they're super cheap feeling or anything like that. Um, and to pump this tire, you pretty much uh, turn this valve and around and you put this right into um, your valve on your, your tire. Uh, this All the bike pumps pump uh, Presta and Schraders. This one, is inner, you don't need to change anything. You can just use it right off the bat. Um, and when I put this right into the tire, uh, there is some air loss, but not too much air loss. Uh, overall, it, it's pretty efficient. And the moment you unplug this and stop pumping, uh, there's also a very little bit of uh, air loss there. Um, the other thing I kind of want to go over with all these bike pumps is uh, how easy it, to, it is to actually pump. So if you can imagine, you know, I put this into the valves of the tire and I'm pumping here. Um, this one was relatively hard. I think it's because of this loose cable here. Um, it, you know, it's kind of hard, you know, the tire moves all around, uh, the pump is moving around and because you're, you're pumping it, uh, it, it was very unstable while we're pumping. So it was, rel it was like, you know, kind of difficult to pump, um, but not too over the head uh, of, of difficulty there. Um, yeah, but overall it was, it's pretty easy to pump. There was not a lot of resistance. Um, and so that's probably why I got the two PSI gain. The next tire pump I have is the Pro Bike Tool. Uh, this one sells on Amazon for $27.79. Uh, this one is a little bit lighter than the other one. This is 135 grams. Um, and the construction overall is pretty good. It's all metal. Uh, there's not a lot of plastic stuff here. Um, you know, there's a few rubber bits here on the end. The efficiency on this is 2 PSI gained uh, from 15 bike pumps. So similar to the Toe Peak Mini Morph. Um, to pump this tire, uh, to use this bike pump on a tire, you would kind of unscrew this little valve here. And this brings out the actual uh, adapter you plug into the pump. So if you want Presta, you use one side. If you want Schrader, you use the other. Um, and there is a metal gauge here. So when you pump, there's, this thing's supposed to move out um, to tell you the PSI. But I've, I found that this is very inaccurate. Like I couldn't rely on it and it just, I never relied on it. Um, I just use an external uh, gauge to test the tires. Um, and so once you put this on, you choose which side you want on the outside, you screw this in, um, and then you take the other side, the one that you've chosen to, to uh, pump your bike, and you screw this into the actual bike's valve. Um, I've noticed that when you are screwing this into the valve, you lose a lot of air. Um, and it's, it's hissing and losing air the whole time you're screwing until it's tight. Um, when you're done pumping and you're unscrewing it, you also lose air. So not very efficient. Um, again, you get two PSI gained for 15 pumps, uh, but you're gonna have to add a lot more because you're losing some in the beginning and you're losing some when you're taking it out. Um, 
Finally, also the stability of how easy it, it is to pump. Um, just like the Mini Morph, you can imagine this is screwed onto the valve and you're pumping. Um, this thing just moves all over the place. It's, it's, there's no stability here and it's pretty hard to pump. This one's even more difficult than the Mini Morph because uh, it literally just swings and, and moves all over the place. In terms of the actual pumping portion, uh, I'd say it's really similar to the Mini Morph. Um, I, there's no difference there. I feel like there's, there, you know, the resistance is the same um, as the Mini Morph. Um, and yeah, when you're done, you just put it here back here and it hides in at the very top. Uh, and you can put this away. The next bike pump I have is the Toe Peak Mountain DA pump. This one sells for $24.90. Uh, it weighs in at 126 grams. And this one, for 15 pumps, um, I was able to get four PSI gain. Um, the overall quality is very similar to the Mini Morph. Uh, metal construction in the middle, plastics on the side. Again, the plastic that Toe Peak has is, is pretty good plastic. It doesn't feel super cheap or you know that it's gonna break or anything like that. Um, so it's pretty good. Um, this one, when you're pumping your bike, you have to choose if you want Presta or Shader off the bat. Um, to choose, you actually have to unscrew this little cap at the top, and then you have to take this rubber piece out and switch between if you want Shader or Presta. Um, so if you are pumping both type of valves on a regular basis, um, you may want to think about this one because it isn't super easy to take it off and switch uh, like the other ones. The other ones, you kind of just use it as is or you pick which side as you go. Um, so yeah, once you chose which side you want, um, it's pretty simple. You take off the cap, you put it under the valve, and you just start pumping. Um, the air loss that you get from putting this onto the bike valve itself is next to zero. Um, I didn't hear a single bit of hissing sound whatsoever. Um, so yeah, put it right in, lock it, um, and I was able to pump right away. Um, the pumping itself is pretty, the actual pump portion is a little difficult. I felt like there was a lot more resistance uh, compared to the other two. The other ones are like really easy to just start pumping. Um, but the stability while you're pumping, this one was really good. Like it didn't move anywhere. I felt like I could just hold it right here and just pump and I was, it was totally fine. Um, like I said before, the other ones, they were just like moving all the place. And I, if I'm holding the pump itself, the, the cable is still moving. This one was super, super stable. Um, the only complaint on this one was that it was a little more resistance to pump. Uh, and that makes sense, right? This one gained four PSI out of 15 pumps. So it's double of what the other two that we've talked about so far. Um, so you can definitely make a lot more... Um, you know, you can get your bike pumped a lot faster with this one, right? You, there's no loss on the pump when you're putting it in and, and taking it out. And each pump, you get a lot more air. So, um, yeah, this one was a pretty good one. The last bike pump I have is the BV Mini Bike Pump. This one sells on Amazon for $16.49. Um, this one weighs the least out of all of them. It's 97 grams. Um, and the efficiency for 15 pumps was also 2 PSI. So everyone seems to pump around the same, 2 PSI, except for that Mountain DA pump. Um, the overall quality on this, uh, it reflects the price, right? This one's the cheapest out of the all, uh, and it feels the cheapest out of all of them as well. Everything is plastic. So this top piece is plastic. This middle actual nozzle is also plastic. The center piece is also plastic, and uh, the front piece here is also plastic. Um, it's really noticeable how much cheaper it is. Um, the quality, you know, you can as you're using it and you're kind of folding it in and out, you can definitely feel that the quality is a lot less than the others compared. Um, but it's also a lot cheaper, right? It's it's uh, way cheaper, and you get it's lighter, and the efficiency is about the same. Um, air loss when you're putting this uh, pump onto the valve is very little. I'd say it's very similar to the Mini Morph. Um, none of them is as good and as 
as little air loss as the Mountain D A pump. Um, what's good about this one is the the valve itself in the front. You can pump whichever one you want, right, with the same exact valve. Um, in terms of stability and ease of pump when I'm pumping, this one was pretty good as well. Um, very similar to the DA pump. Uh, you know, you put it onto the tire and you're pumping and it's pretty good. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing the trend here that the, the, the cable ones, the one with the cable at the end are very difficult to kind of control while you're pumping, right? Because usually you're trying to pump pretty fast uh, and the, the cable just moves everywhere. This one doesn't. Um, in terms of the ease of pumping, like actual pumping, it's vi very similar to the Toe Peak Mini Morph as well as the Pro Bike Tool. Um, and I think it's because the actual core here in the middle are the same size, right? Um, they're, you know, roughly the same, whereas the um, Mountain DA, it's, it's a lot chunkier in the middle. Um, so when you're actually pumping, uh, there's a lot of air going through, so there's more resistance. Um, at least that's my thoughts. Um, so yeah, I mean, overall, this was a pretty good bike pump as well for the price. Um, now, which one do, you know, I think is best for everyone. Everyone has their own needs, right, If um, for what they want uh, and what they're using it for. These all do come with uh, mounts for your bike as well. Um, I did not weigh those or, or compare. I didn't really look into that just because I wasn't really using it. Uh, but do know that they do all come with a bike mount to your frame. Um, they're all secure with a little strap as well. Um, so what do I recommend or what am I going to go with for my choice? Uh, personally, I am probably going to go with the Mountain DA. Um, this is, you know, the second to cheapest uh, out of the all. Um, the weight is, you know, the second to lowest out of the all. Um, and it pumps the most efficiently. Um, you know, there's four PSI gain for every 15 pumps. Um, and then there's no air loss when you're actually putting this on or taking it off the bike. Uh, so personally, I think I'm going to be going with this one. Um, if you are on a budget or, you know, you want just need something as an emergency, um, I honestly think this BV one is really good. It's $16.49, super, super light. Um, the efficiency is the rest, this, you know, pretty good compared to the other ones. Um, and yeah, it's, it's just, it's really good for what you might need. Um, you know, again, these mini bike pumps that and you, you carry on your bike or your, your backpack are for emergencies, right? You theoretically, you should pump your tires, uh, before you get onto the trails. So, you know, this might be a very good option as well. If you're just on a budget and you want to just be in case of emergency. Um, these other two, again, this is the existing one I have. I just don't like this one. It's, you lose too much air. I hate the screwing mechanism. I, every time the valve stem just comes out. Um, and yeah, this, this mini morph here is the most expensive, the heaviest as well. You still lose air when you're, when you're putting it and taking it out. Um, and the efficiency is not even that much better. So personally, uh, don't care for this one. Build quality is the best though, if you want that. Um, Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, hopefully this kind of helped you get, get an idea of which bike pumps there are. Again, there's so many more bike pumps out there. These are the four that I'm experimenting with. Um, so yeah, hope this helped you on your search and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.